Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This video is all about the lovable glitches in Age of Empires 2. You might come in expecting this to just be me beating up on HD edition bugs, but this is more about the fun glitches we don't want to change and not the things that annoy people. I've already talked about those before. Also, big thanks to the Facebook group for helping me create this list, though I've had to leave out any suggestions that seem too much like cheating or exploits. So let's check it out. Number five is stopping animals with buildings. Next time a wild animal is chasing your villager down, the best thing you can do is actually to make a building under it. Why? Well, basically your villager politely explains the situation and the wolf or other animal is trespassing on a construction site without proper head and foot protection. You might be surprised at how far some good manners and clear regulations go in a confrontational situation, and the animals generally back down and leave the premises, giving your villager a chance to book it out of there. Number four is from the Attila the Hun campaign. There was actually some commenters that let me know about this one, and it turns out if you run away from Bladed just as he starts to fight the boar, you can run across the water and get new villagers and start a new town. That part's intentional, but when you send Attila back, you can also get all of Bladed's stuff too. So you end up with two towns, extra villagers, extra resources, and you even get the archers that were waiting to kill you. Somehow, I don't think it was intended to work out that way. Number three is dead units projectiles. This one confused me quite a bit in some early videos where I was looking at game mechanics. Technically, the damage from a projectile isn't calculated until after it hits its target. That's all well and good, except dead units don't always have the same stats and bonuses as they did when they were alive. Archers, for instance, lose their hill bonuses they might have had when they fired, and trebuchets destroyed early enough don't do any damage to their targets. You see a similar thing happen with Japanese trebuchets, which can pack up fast enough to beat their projectile to the target and do just one damage. There's also a weird one with scorpions where a bolt from a dead scorpion cuts down trees, which is kind of random. The whole idea that you can affect a projectile in the air by destroying the siege unit that fired it feels like some freaky quantum physics stuff. Number two is from the African Kingdom's expansion, specifically the Portuguese unique unit, the Caravel. It has an interesting attack, kind of like a scorpion, that goes through multiple units, which is pretty cool. Something weird happens when the units get too close though, and the bolts actually deflect straight backwards. It ends up looking like melee units are deflecting the shots with their swords back and up into the air, and it basically protects all of the units behind them. Obviously, this is a pretty obscure situation that doesn't come up very often, but it still looks funny and isn't generally game-breaking, so it's on the list. Before we get to number one, here's a few honorable mentions taken from Facebook suggestions. They include monks healing farms and fish traps with the power of arm waving, converted monks switching their appearance when they pick up a relic, using a tower to jump past corner gates on arena, deer attacking your buildings in the Vinland Saga scenario, and boats getting stuck on land. Number one though is the quintessential HD bug of moonwalking units. Just about every unit seems to be able to do this. It's pretty common to see scouts and villagers, but lots of other units get in on the action as well. Sometimes when life gets tough, you just gotta dance. But that's my list of funny glitches. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.